Hi, this is Michelle Kasky from homeschoolyourboys.com. And today I want to talk to you about a program that we have had the privilege of using for the last four and a half months or so, and that is Apologia American Lit. Now, Apologia gave us the opportunity to review this, um, and I've been using it with my son who just turned 17 and he is a junior in high school. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the program and how our family has been using it. So Apologia American Lit or American Literature is um, a very thorough program. If you are familiar with Apologia at all, then you know how uh, much work they put into their products. So the American Lit comes with this textbook. And I'll just kind of show you what this looks like a little bit here. Um, quite a few excerpts in it. There are short stories, poems, speeches, essays, all sorts of things. So let me show you the table of contents. Eat this book actually is broken into sections based on um, chronological order from the colonial age to the age of reason and revolution, which is like our founding fathers and everything. John Adams. Then we have the Romantic Age, um, Edgar Allan Poe, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Then we have the Age of Reason with Emily Dickinson, Walt Whitman. And then we go into the Modern Age. So these are some of my favorites. Um, T.S. Eliot, I always thought he was pretty interesting. Um, William Faulkner. Mark Twain. So, E.E. E. Cummings. <laughs> so um, that is how the book is broken down. And each section has an introduction. It talks about the actual time period which is great history, by the way. Um, this book is written from a Christian biblical worldview. As you can see here, this has got a lot of information about the colonial age. The Puritan worldview. And then we go into um, the first chapter. And there's always an introduction about the author of that work, and then this first one is a myth, a Cherokee myth. So you have your reading excerpt, and then they always have questions for each um, reading that they ask the kids to do. Some of the readings only have, like this one has seven questions, um, and it's on this poem here. So that's pretty reasonable. There are other readings, however, that have, as you can see here, this one actually has nine questions over here. It actually has a total of 21 questions. Um, when, when we were doing this program, um, as I was going through with my son, I would have him do the reading, and then I would actually go over the questions with him, because some of these are... Ex um, pretty in-depth, and this is the first time that our family has ever really gone this in-depth with our um, literature analysis, so it was really good for me to be there to be able to kind of talk to him about, you know, what things mean and um, what they're trying to get at and stuff. So another thing I really like, if you look at this um, poem here, they have, in the margin here, they have um, vocabulary notes to help the kids so that they don't have to stop every five minutes and grab a dictionary and try to figure out what some of these words mean. Um, like visage means face. If they haven't had French, they might not know that. So I thought that was another good aspect of the program. Apologia American Lit also has this um, student notebook, which I'm going to go ahead and, we're only about halfway through the program right now. I'm going to open up to a section we haven't finished yet. Um, 
here shows, I, I really liked how it would actually have the questions written out and then there's space for the student to be able to answer the question. And these are the exact same questions that you would find in the student textbook. But there's room, some of these questions, it would take take students a while to write these all out if they had to write it out and then answer the questions. So like here, here is a short story by Mark Twain. And there's the questions. And uh, one thing that we did, I found that there are a lot of questions for the kids to answer. And if you have them doing this program every day like we did, it actually is, I felt like it was not necessary for them to have to answer every single question. So we would go over some of these and I would decide which ones I thought would be the best ones for them to try to answer. And then um, a lot of times you would even do it orally. Uh, versus my son having to write all of the answers down. The student notebook also has a first and second semester exam included in it, and that is not something that you would get in a textbook. So um, you may be tempted to just buy the textbook and not buy the notebook, but if you're going to want to have your child do the semester exams, then you're going to need to get the student notebook and as you can see it's very detailed so again this might be something that you would decide to just go over with your child versus having them do the whole thing it kind of depends on if you're trying to give them an experience that is similar to what they might experience in college then feel free to go ahead and have them do the whole thing you know, here's some essay questions as part of that semester exam. If you're just trying to help them develop a love for reading and maybe improve their comprehension of classic literature, then you can adapt this however you would see fit. Hey, there's a lot. There's a lot to it. So, Apologia has also included an answer key and a daily lesson plan outline that are they're in PDF form and you can download those from their website. So when you purchase the program, you can actually find instructions on how to do that in the very beginning of the book. And it, that is password protected, but the password's in the book. We found Apologia American Literature to be an excellent way for students to become prepared for literature classes in college. Apologia has a reputation of always providing excellent top-notch materials. You've gone through a lot of their science curriculum in the past and it's it's tough but it's definitely does a good job at preparing our students to be able to handle higher level coursework and Apology American Lit is the same way. So if you would like to know more about this program, I'm actually writing a review of it on my blog and I will link to that in the comments for this video. And if you have any questions, I would love to try to answer them. So feel free to leave a comment and I will answer that as soon as I can. So again, this is Michelle Kasky from homeschoolyourboys.com and I hope that you have a wonderful day.